Good evening. Um, this is Doodles SRT, and uh, we just talked about skies. You see, uh, Doodles only has two of them. We see cell protoplasm, so the, the, the content inside the cell is a little bit stressed. And skin of the hand, including the digits, so that's going to be the front paws. Uh, that was just slightly under. So overall, this is a pretty balanced test. So you notice vaccines didn't come up in this one because we're just on the abnormals again. So you only had two abnormals. So, but it one, uh, you know, um, sometimes we're more apt to compare tests dog to dog. You're going to see some have a lot of negatives, uh, and others like Doodles here only has a couple. His next test may have more chronics in them. Uh, but his first one looks pretty good here. Um, it's not like a blood test. It's not comparing him to other dogs and how they, uh, how their test results are. It's looking at him individually. And, um, you know, as you do additional tests down the road, you're going to be looking at, um, you know, how those tests come out. Not how they compare to previous tests because you're not really looking at the previous test against the new testing. In this case, we're just doing the first test in their lives. And being young dogs, you're gonna see variations of that. But um, when you give the drops for three months, you're basically clearing out any imbalances. And um, you certainly can retest periodically to see how tuned up they are, you know. Um, most dogs, uh, the way the system works is you can run through seven analyses of different frequencies, different levels. Uh, to clear out any negativity. Do you have to do that necessarily for young dogs now, but at the same time, you can clear out everything and go through maintenance. Um, I do have dogs that have been doing this for, since I've got it, you know, every, every three months or so. And others just use it as needed, you know, when the pet gets sick or something like that. So it's very flexible. But uh, take a look and uh, shoot me an email if you have any questions. Uh, RiversideMcHenry at gmail.com. Thank you.